Okay, well, I've got the, uh, the little form put together, and you can see I've laid out where my pink form is going to go uh, that represents this. Now, it's, it, it, uh, it's not quite the same height. You can see there's a half inch approximately difference there, and that's to represent the uh, um, fire brick that will go below this. Um, remember, there's the fire brick over there and I'll cut those down to the size that I need to fit um, on each side of the firebox and under um, and on the ends. So I should have enough uh, to do that. So remember that, this, now that I've cleaned up the uh, Gorilla Glue that kind of oozed out, kind of sanded it down, this I'm going to will fit this in onto this box that I've drawn out and um, uh, cement that down you know, with some silicone and let that dry and then uh, <clears throat> that'll give me the uh, um, form that I need. Now um, the uh, the face coat is not going to go up and over the uh, uh, the uh, styrofoam. Uh, the face coat um, again I might I may put some um, river rocks cut some river rocks to put around here to you know, so that when you see this from the top, there'd be river rocks kind of creating a hearth around this firebox from the top. Um, <clears throat> I haven't decided yet. I, I think I might do that. It just depends on if I want to take the time to cut all those rocks <laughs> with the tile, uh, tile saw to make them flat at the top when I hot glue them down. Um, I'll think about that while this is drying. Um, anyway, so... Whether or not I put the river rocks in there or not, uh, the face coat will go down about three quarter inch and uh, kind of up the, si the little sides there. And then um, over that, um, and then up and over uh, the uh, form here uh, will be the uh, back coat. Now, I'm trying something different this time with the back coat. Not only will it have the uh, glass fibers in it like you've seen before, um, but in, to lighten the, the weight, I'm, I'm using, I'm going to try to uh, do a sand substitute because it's the sand that makes, makes concrete so heavy. So I'm going to substitute some of the sand in that back coat uh, with these uh, uh, polystyrene beads. Now, um, this does not have, uh, I know, uh, Trinic, the company that I buy, uh, the uh, GFRC Admix from, they have a, a product or they partner with somebody that has a product that uh, uses beads like this, but it has a pozzolan material over it. Um, I'd love to be able to try that someday, but it's uh, kind of pricey and the shipping from New York to Iowa is outrageous. I mean, this this little bucket right here, the shipping, just to ship this regular standard shipping is like $26 so um, and it's just a five pound bucket so it's uh, shipping's a little pricey um, so I kind of just get the stuff that I absolutely need um, so I'm going to try it without the um, pozzolan on it and um, I'll probably kind of wet it a little bit use some sort of, of uh, some substance that'll kill the static electricity since it's kind of winter and it's dry so that that doesn't stick all over things but that'll be a volume replacement, not a weight replacement. So when I figure out how much sand I need, um, I'll dump the sand into a bucket and then um, mark a line on the bucket with a pencil or something so I know the volume that that sand uh, needs. And then I'll fill that bucket up uh, with this up to that line. So you can see by doing that, I get the same volume of sand or sand substitute, but it'll be a lot less weight. I'll probably, tr with this project, I'll probably try, because I do need some strength besides the glass fiber. Um, I'll probably do maybe a half to three quarters uh, sand substitute on that back coat that will go up and over and create a you know, concrete form all the way around this thing. And then of course, when it's all done, I'll have to dig that. That styrofoam gets destroyed basically when you dig it out of the of the concrete when you're all done. I'll 
of course, coat it with, uh, with wax, Johnson's Paste Wax, to help, help it a little bit. But um, um, it still has to be uh, kind of broken out of the form when it's all done. So anyway, um, that's just a short update. Talk to you later. Bye.